in a new series of photographs shared to celebrate Prince Louis's fourth birthday, he illustrates that life is a beach at the age of four. During the Easter vacations, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's younger son was photographed playing in the sand in Norfolk with his adoring mother Catherine. Louis looks to have inherited his parents' love of sports, preparing for a barefoot sprint across the sand in one photograph and brandishing a cricket ball in two others, with a big grin on his face and a remarkable likeness to both his father, Prince William, and his grandpa, Michael Middleton. He appears like any other young boy of his age, dressed in a cute check shirt and shorts and soft grey pullover with colourful stars on the front, ready for a beach excursion. The wind-swept north Norfolk coast holds a special place in the Cambridge's heart. It is where the family can unwind together by climbing sand dunes, learning to sail or taking a bracing dip in the sea. The beach, just half an hour drive from their Anma Hall home in Norfolk, William and Catherine have been regular visitors over the years with Prince George VIII, Princess Charlotte, who turned seven on the 2nd of May, and four-year-old Prince Louis. Last year, to mark their 10th wedding anniversary, the royal couple shared a glimpse into their idyllic family life, releasing a video of themselves and their children climbing the sand dunes there, cuddling up together on the beach as they looked out to sea and toasting marshmallows over a fire. The footage, taken when little Louis was still only two years old, saw him carried by Catherine and helped to climb up the steep dunes. But although he may still be the baby of the Cambridge clan, these wonderful new photographs taken by the Duchess show he is growing up fast. It's not clear how the Cambridges will celebrate Louis's birthday, but Prince William and Catherine have reportedly planned a weekend of exciting outdoor activities for Louis's birthday, according to a source talking to US Weekly. He's having a little birthday party on Saturday to mark the milestone, the insider added. Louis is so excited to be turning four years old. William and Catherine's youngest child is fifth in line to the throne and was born on St George's Day, April the 23rd, 2018, at the private Lindo Wing of St Mary's Hospital in Paddington, London, weighing eight pounds seven ounces. He was christened Louis Arthur Charles at 11 weeks old by the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, at the Chapel Royal St James's Palace in front of friends and family. It all started a few days after his birthday that Prince William and Catherine would name their infant boy Louis Arthur Charles. Louis is a popular name in the royal family and is used as a middle name by his dad William and brother George. He's supposed to be named after Lord Louis Mountbatten, Prince Charles's mentor who died in an IRA attack in 1979. His official title is rather grand and much like George and Charlotte's, he is officially known as His Royal Highness Prince Louis of Cambridge. But his official name and title are only possible because his great-grandmother, the Queen, stepped in before he was born to overwrite a rule put in place by her grandfather, King George V, reports the Express. Back in 1917, he set out new guidance on which royals were allowed to have titles and who was too far down the line of succession to qualify for one. He decided that all of the sovereign's children would automatically become a prince or princess as well as any grandchildren born through the male line. However, great-grandchildren weren't included on the list. This caused a bit of an issue when George was born, as despite being our future king, he shouldn't have had the title. The Queen stepped in and said that George would get the title and decided to extend the change to all of Catherine and William's children. This means that even though Charlotte and Louis, who are further down the line of succession and are unlikely to ever sit on the throne, are also a prince and princess. If the monarch doesn't make the change, it's likely that Louis would have been Master Louis Cambridge or Master Louis Windsor instead. Even though he made his public debut on the steps of the Lindo Wing with his parents just a few hours old, Louis has been growing up away from the spotlight. It's partly down to the COVID-19 pandemic, which has seen large-scale royal family events such as Trooping the Colour cancelled in recent years. Louis is currently enrolled at Wilcox Nursery in Kensington, only a few minutes from the family's home in Kensington Palace, where Charlotte also went. But it seems that, possibly for practical reasons, the Cambridges are now considering keeping all three children together. 
According to the Daily Mail, Louis is set to join both his big brother, Prince George, and sister, Princess Charlotte, at a new school this September. William and Catherine, who are looking to move to Berkshire imminently, are currently exploring options to have all three of their children at the same co-educational establishment. Earlier this year, the Duke and Duchess were progressing rapidly with plans for new life in the home counties. George is already earmarked to leave Thomas's in Battersea, southwest London, for a new prep school in the Royal County this autumn. But it has now emerged that he may be joined by Charlotte and Louis too. Charlotte has always been happy and settled at Thomas's, and it's been thought that Louis would join her later this year. The Duke and Duchess have been seen touring several schools in the area and are keen to find one that is out of town and where all the facilities are on one campus. The reports also suggest that the family may be considering upping sticks out of London altogether for a new life in the country, using Kensington Palace and their home there, apartment 1A, as a work base. They intend to keep the palace on even after they become Prince and Princess of Wales. William and Catherine have recently been looking at large private homes in the Berkshire area, specifically in villages close to her parents' home in Buckleberry, as well as more well-established homes on the Queen's Windsor estate. Catherine is extremely close to her parents, Michael and Carol Middleton, who often look after her brood when she and William are away or on working tours and frequently pick them up from school. And the Duchess always speaks fondly of her idea idyllic childhood in the Berkshire countryside with her siblings Pippa and James. While it could be another 20 years before the couple accede to the throne, William and Catherine are now starting to map out where they see their family settling down. They are keen to afford their offspring as normal childhoods as possible and feel that the Duchess's home county, which as well as being close to Catherine's family, means they will just be a short drive from the Queen at Windsor Castle, which is the perfect spot. They intend to vacate their current country home in Norfolk and Mahal, which will revert to the Queen. One source told the Daily Mail, Word is that all three children will be leaving their London schools. William and Catherine, in particular, love the idea of their family growing up not far from her own childhood home. They are both country people at heart and Catherine spends so much time with her family anyway. It makes perfect sense for them to all be at the same school together. If all three children are at the same school in Berkshire together, it also means George won't have to board. The talk is that if they don't find a suitable place with the Queen at Windsor, they are likely to end up, if not necessarily right next to Bucklebury, not far off of it. They have been discreetly viewing potential properties in recent months. Their decision may be influenced by finding somewhere with enough privacy. On the Windsor estate, where they have viewed several properties, they would already be within the Royal Security Cordon. A grand new private home would require the police establishing a whole new security set up. But it can easily be done. Both the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall have private homes in the Cotswolds, as well as using Clarence House as a London base. 